the um, industrial foundation that was laid by Mao. So, it, so in this period, not merely were all the problems of China's national self-determination solved, but the, the, the social living conditions of the people developed immeasurably. The um, industrial foundation that was laid by Mao uh, during his 30 years uh, uh, in power, that was later proved to be quite important for China to, uh, uh, to, to, to reform. So these were several aspects that I would think to be uh, the, the continuity of the Chinese Communist Party's rule of China. But I noticed a very interesting thing. People who are Chinese specialists in the West drew attention to the fact that there had been significant increase in life expectancy in China during this period. During the 27 years in which Mao Zedong was alive, the chronological life expectancy increased by more than one year for each year that he was in power. There has never been anything like that in human history. Um, this was astonishing. So, it, so in this period, not merely were all the problems of China's national self-determination solved, but the, the, the social living conditions of the people developed immeasurably. There were, for a long time, there, it looked as if countries like China just could not industrialize and could not compete with the Western countries and so on. But we've seen, so since the middle of the, middle, middle of the 20th century, you know, with at the time of the 1949 revolution, but also the end of colonialism in many parts of in Asia and so on, we saw the world change to create a new sort of possibility that the world did not have to be dominated by the West, which was a small fraction of humanity. We could see that possibility. Looking back now, we can see that possibility opening up from this is why a crucial period as the end of the Second World War. Um, and now, with China's success with the reform period and so on, what that means is that uh, a great, a huge country like China can go from great backwardness to economic modernization and vitality and dynamism. Ma emphasized the rights of women, right? Female rights. Ma emphasized, you know, the, the, the new, new, new system, right? You know, he, Ma helped to spread the industrial capacity, even like Sashi, the third from a project. All those sorts of things are very, were very helpful for, for the development of the market economy in the Havin era. So I would say, you know, as a scholar, we really cannot be, our view cannot be you know, affected by ideology. We have to look into facts, how those two areas, two stage, historic stage, they're connected, you know. To, to get more truth from it, not just simply, you know, criticize one, follows another. You know, that's uh, because history is a history. We we have to look at history in a more objective way. Right?